we are live now. So, nice. Juna, thank hey. you for joining me. We are going to go over the challenge that you ran with us through Kittle. We're going to be okay. talking about what you were looking for. We're going to look at the top three winners and then give away another prize to an honorable mention. So oh, nice. if you're watching and you were participating in the challenge, make sure you keep watching because you might win a uh, six months pro subscription to Kittle. So nice. I'm super excited. Juna, why don't you, while I show the challenge page, why don't you go okay. ahead and maybe just explain why you chose this challenge a little bit, what you were looking for, and then we can yeah. kind of dive into why these top three won. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. So the challenge uh, for this one was um, outdoor theme. And I thought um, the outdoor theme would be really good right now because a lot of people are going outdoors. I think it's pertinent for like right now. What I'm looking for is like a t-shirt that someone would wear that like an outdoor person uh, who loves the outdoors would wear as a t-shirt. So it has to fit that t-shirt size. It has to look good on a t-shirt, you know, uh, of course, all the fonts and stuff that you're going to use on Kiddo are, are great, but I'm just I'm looking for like uh, something that would look great on a T-shirt, that, which is different from a poster or different from a sticker. Right. So right. Um, having that eye of looking at, at T-shirt designs a lot, then I, I can kind of see what what would go good on a T-shirt and what doesn't. So this is the this is the second I think uh, this is the second challenge in total on Kittle. And because yeah. we moved it from doing it in our community groups like uh, Discord and Facebook to now doing it on here, which is nice because you can just boom, you can go here, yeah. you can upload it, you can upvote. And so yeah. I we were just like, wow, this is amazing. Like we had people, um, you know, that we've never seen before, obviously, because yeah. <laughs> who knows who's in Kittle, but they're they're posting their designs and it's fabulous to see. Look like look at all of these. They're just like there's so many. Uh, yeah. And I'm super excited uh, as we continue to uh, like, you know, upgrade challenges moving forward. And and by the way, of course, for everyone that is watching right now, we are we are finished with this challenge. We have our top three winners up, yeah. up here, yeah. but you can always go to the challenges page to see what we have going More. on. It so keeps right going. Now, There's another one. Yeah. Charlie. Yeah. So nice. we have another one with Charlie. Um, and we, of course, we have some of our own internals. Here's another one we did beach and surf design. We did that one. a couple yeah. of weeks ago. So yeah. always make sure you are checking this page. Um, but I thought what might be nice is if we kind of talk about uh, these top three winners okay. and maybe maybe why they uh, maybe why they make good T-shirt designs, because maybe yeah. the better the question isn't necessarily like, why did these win? Because, of course, Maybe they, they had, won by the votes. Uh, yeah. yeah, they won by the voice votes, of course. So <laughs> the maybe voice of the people, you know, yeah. the votes of the people, their friends. Maybe they had new signups, things like that, which we're always, yeah. you know, we're constantly making sure we don't have fake accounts, fake votes, all these things we have to continually upgrade. But yeah. why do you think these make good T-shirt designs? Um, well, so that for the most know. part, these are these are good t-shirt designs because they fit that size you see the tall rectangle they're all kind of do the tall rectangle they're knocked out right so they they have those kind of colors on top of the t-shirts you see all of them i really love the the morning wood one that's really funny um and yeah that one it really yeah. does i mean it has the it's funny first of all <laughs> it, ha it captures that funny uh thing and then it, it just has has some interest right and then it's all kind of encapsulated inside that uh, tall rectangle so it's kind of filling the space it gets your eye with like some little details with the um the birds and things like that and again it's using different uh different fonts as well for um variety so i i like it yeah it's it, it really <clears throat> captures the outdoor aesthetic with the mountains uh, uh -huh. and i i like the visual entrance of of, of the birds in the background and you have that little retro sunset uh, theme in the You're back right. that yeah. makes the, it's playing with the that color too. pop. Yeah, so uh -huh. uh, you know, imagining this on a on a black t-shirt would look really yeah. great. Even on a white t-shirt, maybe you would want to change the tan, uh, you know, uh -huh. all this tan to something like black or something. Yeah, and it's playing um, to the silhouettes with the black, and so it, it has a lot go going good on this one. Yeah. Um, so re yeah, really good job here. Should we go look at the other ones? I, I probably should have started with one instead of. No, that's three, okay. We can we can go to we can go to two now. We just started we can with go three. To two, yeah, uh, we can go to two here. Let's see. Yeah, All right. Okay. So I, I like this one too. Um, 
you know, it uses kind of that variety of the, the arc on the top, arc on the bottom. Of course, great graphics from Kittle, right? You can't go wrong with the graphics there. <laughs> um, so I, I love how they incorporated it like a kind of a layered thing, you know, with the, you got the skull and then you got the, um, what is that, the wheel and then the water in the background. So love it. Yeah, um, you have the splash effects there in the background. Yeah, really, the, really the bring effect. the sea so, theme. Yeah. This that little pop of of a little different thing, I think, really helps, right? So yeah, no, I think it is. I think it's great. Again, already seeing what it's what it's looking like on a black shirt, because of course the background is is uh -huh. black. But if you change it to a white shirt, maybe you'd want to do that blue for the for the top and bottom text, or you know, the brown yeah. of, of the wheel the or colors. something like that. But yeah, I love exactly. This, this font that you guys have on on Kittle, like it's so intricate. It's so cool. What a yeah, cool font. yeah. It's it yeah it's done a good job here even you know with sometimes curving curving text like this with capital letters yeah doesn't necessarily always work and it's oh it's okay here I think yeah you know I would it, say the same to take yeah. it a, yeah to step further no capital S no capital F yeah it's, kind it of doesn't level really everything, need it have it on the same yeah yeah I agree yeah 100%. if you really want it to be flourished you know you could use you could use straight text or a rise effect or something else you can get mm -hmm. really creative with yeah with or maybe this, at so. the ends right you do the flourish at the beginning at the end and kind of right yeah. you can create that framing right so like uh, yeah. the a at the bottom left and the y in the bottom right yeah. or something like that yeah, yeah no it's really good here um and so all right so that's third and second again just to recap, they're all fitting this this nice square Tall format rectangle. of yep. the shirt. Yeah, and kind of filling um, the space, right? And same thing here. Um, I think this one this one also has a kind of a good phrase. I, they all kind of use, I think that's why they kind of want, because they, they catch you with the language, right? Not all who want okay. a lot. We've heard this one before, but I think it's still, it's still a good phrase. Um, and then we have, it kind of relates to the picture, right? So this person is wandering but you can tell that he likes being outside he's not lost he's, he loves being outside so um yeah it's pretty cool i love the graphics that i, I can't believe all these different graphics are on kittle right oh the a variety of different graphics so pretty cool yeah, yeah no it's it's uh it's a it's a nice color scheme uh again on on dark dark shirts like this and it's it's very outdoorsy with the the compass there um, yeah. and it's using multiple fonts, which is another thing yeah. that you mentioned that's mm -hmm. uh, creating and interest. Again, the, I, sorry to interrupt, but they, no, they did a different thing, right. With the font. So it's not just straight. All of them have either a curve or now this one is kind of on a slant. So, right. Yeah. Yeah. No. So they're not all just straight. They're not all mm -hmm. just, yeah, not all arced, but you can do, you can do a lot of really weird things in Kittle if, if you want to, um, but, uh, so those are the top three. I think they, they're all really great. Uh, of course they, they won some amazing prizes down here. Yeah. Um, yeah. and, but we, we have another prize to give out yeah. as we, as we look through a couple of these, but before we, we just jump right to the, the prize winner, are there any others here that I'm scrolling through that you just want to say, man, good, good job. That one really captures me yeah. or anything like Let that. Let me see. The scroll. I mean, of course, the mountain ones, but I think what happened was a lot of yeah. people took the what was on the shirt and the if you go if you scroll up, you're going to see some people did kind of similar to what what's already out on Kittle, because I think I've seen the mountains are calling. Yeah, yeah the, mountains. the mountains are calling. I must go. So, I mean, they did it in a different oh, way. Yeah. But it, There's another yeah, one. So those, those yeah. are nice. That one's nice, too. Yeah, this is like almost yeah, the same as the, the top left the one. Just classic, right? I like um, this one. This one's pretty clever. <laughs> Retirement yeah, goals. in the badge. Yeah, nice I like the badge the like badge. that. Yeah, because it could also be a nice patch. Um, right, right. Sometimes this, patches make nice t-shirts too. Here's so. a here's a play on that phrase. The lockdowns right. are done, and I must go. Yeah, that's that's nice. I think if you saw that maybe on merch by Amazon, I think some people might. Yeah, it is that nice. One. It's a lot like the one we saw in the at the top there. Um, that Imperial Park over there, the badge is kind of kind of neat on the left. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's nice and vintagey nice, there. I, nice I like that a lot. There. Yeah, yeah, that would look great on the back of a shirt or a patch or or stickers. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Some um, of them like uh, some of them like this one. Like I I, I can kind of understand. 
Uh, yeah. But just when you when you have too much text on a shirt, I think it might get right. a little too difficult. much variety um, going on. Yeah, you <laughs> too much variety. One. This one's pretty clever. And a lot of these the make great the posters. Like you can see, they go full width and they bleed out and everything. And those are great for posters. But yes. as far as a t-shirt design, not not necessarily a great thing. Yeah, but I mean, overall, I was. I don't know how much you kind of looked through them as, as the competition was going on, but I, yeah. I was really pleased with like, just. Yeah. And this the, is a great the variety. I'm guessing a lot of times this is the first time that they're designing t-shirts, right? A lot of people. So I, yeah, it might be, fun. it might be, which is, which is yeah. excellent. Yeah. Everyone. Oh, I love that. A, um, crazy Raven on the left. The crazy, this one right here. Yeah. That's yeah. Beautiful. No, that's really nice. It's, it's nice and kind of monotone. It's not, not too much going on. It's you really know what's going on. Yeah. I also like Doesn't this one. Even outdoors though it's to me, but colorful. it's a nice design. That's yeah, very that's retro. true. This one's very. I could see this also as a as a, as a poster or an ad or something right. like that. Retro um, poster. Yeah, or like a, maybe it's like a cabin resort thing, you know, and people mm -hmm. walking around with with t shirts like that. That's really nice. There's so much phenomenal work went into a lot of these. Yeah, um, oh, the fishing one's nice there. The that one, fishing yeah. river quest. That's river a quest cool one. one. Yeah, really nice, really nice splash there in the background. Um, but we do have an honorable mention. Yep. And yep. so yep. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the one that we want to award six months pro subscription is just up here. And it is there it is. Julian yep. Chavez Think Outside. So why is this one your special pick why is this your special winner so uh, there's multiple reasons why i like this one um it's a badge first of all so it would work both on a sticker i think this would make a great sticker and a t-shirt it fits the description of the outdoors right it's very simple it's and it's also funny so think outside right when it's kind of a play on words so i, I think that catches your attention and then we have the little text explore great outdoors so it's using a lot of those those things that i talk about where you have like a big thing and then a little thing, kind of the details, you know, so it has the details of the words, the details of the uh, of the little birds and things. And then the color, like he uses just two or three colors and it just works. Right. So he's not like overthinking it. It's very simple um, and it's very easy to understand, easy to see and just very clean too so a lot lots of good reasons yeah. love this one yeah absolutely i think it's uh, the what i like most about it is is the clean that you, you mentioned again it can work as a patch it can work mm -hmm. as a t-shirt you can really play mm -hmm. with the variability of colors there you can do a lot um and it's it's easy easily manipulated i guess you could you could change your illustration the type anything it's it's really nice and simple it's clean and so julian chavez hope i'm saying your name right uh, you're winning six Good months job. pro. Hopefully you're watching this video. I'm going to upgrade your account either way. So you'll find out <laughs> one day or, or the next. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, there's six months pro you won't have to worry about. So special congratulations. And of course, congratulations to all of our top three winners and to just everyone that did the challenge. This was phenomenal. Yeah. As you can see here, there were 180, 182 entries uh, that's that's really that's really great, and I can't wait for uh, the next challenge that we do together. Uh, of course, yeah. again, anyone watching, go go participate in the next challenge. Uh, you can sh you can participate in as many challenges as you want, and more opportunities mm -hmm. to win rewards. Um, and make sure that you all are following Juna Detour Shirts on YouTube. That's linked YouTube. down in the description. You can find him on Kittle as well. He has amazing t-shirt templates on Kittle and uh, you're killing it. I mean, I think you did so many in like a couple weeks and I was like, man, I can't design that fast myself, <laughs> even with Kittle. so easy. Um, yeah. But yeah, check out uh, uh, Juna. I, I think your, your username though is uh, Detour Shirts, Detour Shirts. On, on Kittle. Yeah, and yeah. so you can check out his templates there. Again, it's all it's all linked in the description. You can just go down there and check it out. Yeah, it's uh, of fun. course, subscribe to our channel, the YouTube channel here, Kittle, so that you don't miss any updates, uh, tutorials, things like that. Juna, is there anything else that you want to say about challenges, T-shirts, life wisdom, whatever, whatever it is? Well, is the best way to get better at T-shirt design is to keep designing. And I, I think yeah. what the challenges are doing uh, for you guys, 
uh, is to have a way to kind of focus what you're going to design on. It's a great way to kind of up your skills and keep trying new and new things. Kittle has so many different things on there that it, I, what I love about it is you can, there's, you know, you can try different things. And I think that's great with the challenges because then it forces you to do like mine outdoors. No, I, I got to look what an outdoor t-shirt looks like. I'm going to try yeah. The next one's about coffee. So now I have to go look for that. And Kittle has all of that stuff. And so you can, you can play around with the different features and learn and, and then look at the challenge winners and like get ideas. What the thing I love about Kittle is you already have a ton of good designs out there. So you kind of have like this Pinterest thing going on where you can yeah. see good design and, and kind of burn it in your memory and then try those things out. And if you don't know how to do it, you just click on it and it will actually show you how the person did it. Right. So that's, it, yeah. it's a learning tool as well as a, a design tool. So it's great. Absolutely. That's, that's phenomenal advice. And I can't wait to see more people's entries to the further challenges. Um, Gina, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time to to talk through this. It's awesome. I think it's going to be helpful, important for people that are checking out challenges. Maybe they didn't do one, maybe they were hesitant. And now you have even more incentive to participate because you might be on the video winning a special reward so there's not just one two and three there's always other things that we're gonna give away and so again thank you everyone check the details in the description and we hope you have a wonderful rest of the day night whatever's happening when when you're watching (laughs) this video uh and we will see you in the next one bye see you guys